Well, everyone, it's Shane Kanto, your Wasteland reviewer, and I'm here to review the new Holocaust drama, My Name is Sarah. And this film focuses on a young woman named Sarah, who is a Polish Jew, who finds refuge and is taken in by a farmer and his young wife. And while staying there, deals with their tensions in terms of their marriage, because there's a lot of tensions. This is an older man and a younger woman who... I think realized pretty quickly, like, what the hell did I get myself into? And you have that family drama elements and some of those more intimate family moments then thrown in Nazis and the Holocaust and this young woman, Sarah, trying to hide. And I feel like Stephen Orrick, who directs this film, does a fine job of having a specific tone. It is serious, but it does have some engaging and more light moments from a family drama standpoint and i think the film does a fine job of transitioning between these elements because when it does transition to some of those darker moments dealing with the holocaust dealing with things that were actually going on it's quite tragic and makes your skin crawl gives you chills those moments hit and this part particular film i feel like builds up of enough of a connection where it's like we care about Sarah and Susanna Soroyi who plays Sarah I think does a great job of portraying the anxiety of her situation portrays her longing for connection the way that she engages with this young wife of, of, of this farmer how she engages with the children on this farm and you deal with you know the Nazis coming in and doing their thing and even outside of the Jewish people who are being rounded up, but what they were doing to the Polish people. And you see those elements of them using their authoritarian power to take down these farmers and the struggles that they have to deal with. And there's a lot of different kinds of tension building throughout the film. I think the film does a fine job of keeping a well enough pace. It does get slower in times and it does drag, I think, over the course of this hour and 50 minute plus film. But in general, I think this is a really fine film. The tricky thing is it's been it's coming close to, what, 80 something years around World War II and the Holocaust and the rise of Nazi Germany, 80, 90 years. You've seen so many films at this point focusing on this time period. And like, there aren't a ton of things about My Name is Sarah that really makes it stand out amongst other films. It's like, I feel like there's some kind of bar that, you know, Schindler's List set for like Holocaust films. And this film doesn't quite get there, but it's a really well-made, well-acted, and emotional engaging experience that makes it stand out above just some like thrown together film, but it doesn't quite click and hit the those gears that make it rise up to one of those great films about the Holocaust. But I do think it's still an important film. It's a it's an impressive story about this young woman and her fortitude to get through this experience and make it. And it's something that's engaging and hits when it needs to hit. And it's anchored by the strong central performance from this young woman. But those are my thoughts on My Name is Sarah. Let me know what you think. Let's talk some movies. But thank you as always for tuning in and supporting your Wasteland Reviewer.